Hi everyone, I'm Kyung, the founder of Loki. Actually, now we are based in Korea, and what we are providing is an online marketplace for this current key event and activity we design thinking process. So what I'd like to talk about today is what play activity we offer and how we authenticate or how make people trust our kids and be an event. So before getting started, I'd like to start with our first intro video first. Google, Apple, Microsoft. What's the secret behind these multi-billion dollar companies? It's communication. Or specifically, communication between diverse people. So, we utilize design thinking process to our play programs, allowing kids to have fun with their friends while creating diverse ideas. This allows Logan to embrace everyone's different ideas. By creating one new star from three different stars, kids can learn the process of creating diverse ideas through Logan's fun activities, right by Logan's specials. So, how does Logan work? Logan is a online marketplace for kids' activities and events. So you can either become a Logan specialist and host events, or simply find fun activities that your child might enjoy. Search any playdates or meetups that might interest your child on Logan's website, and read over the details of the event that you want to book. Then book it. It's that easy. Also, in order to become a Logan specialist, they must take our mandatory workshop sessions. Since we already got it, I'm gonna stop here and talk about, about my service first. Okay. Yeah, so everyone did understand what this looking is all about? Yeah, that's what I'm discussing tonight. And I'm so delighted to be here and thanks for inviting me here. Yeah, so how, I just have one question, quick question. How do you guys build creative ideas? Do you guys have any secrets? Is it easy for everyone? Yeah, not for me, yeah, honestly. So I once thought I really I could build creative ideas if I just do it alone, you know, and like you know, like doing things all day all night. But it was not very easy for me. Yeah, but after working at Amex in Europe, kind of comfortable this kind of, you know, comfortable like circumstance working in the team. So it really, really like to try me all uh, kind of how do I create new ideas or innovative ideas? And at Camel, as you guys know, the CEO of Pixar said, creativity is about focusing on one issue and with diverse people working in a team, making a lot of failure. And today, that's what we call design thinking process. So actually, Stanford is called also utilize this design thinking process in their MBA or graduate school program. But even though we have a lot of service out there for adults, but we don't have any service available for kids to experience this design thinking process. So we offer actually creative environments for our kids through our platform. So one quick question. Then how do we apply design thinking process to our kids' play program? And then I will walk you guys through about how we make people trust kids' activity host. So first, our event or play event is only focusing on team building. So we don't provide any education or one year tutoring, whether we provide only team building exercise. And second, we help kids prototype, share, build their ideas together visually. And the last thing is, we help kids out loud and share ideas through fun play activity based on design thinking. So this is our platform, as you guys already seen. So there comes our first business model. So we take 20% commission out of each transaction. So we expect it to make around $150 million till 2019. And how do you guys trust yeah, kids activity event? So you can meet experienced kids event through our training workshop session. So people who host kids events at our website 
our board completed our training workshop as well as authenticated where I be. So we have also networking day before they can do it so that they can get to know each other in advance. So we really build a trusted community first. And then we also partner with the Hanyang University for, to, to provide the training workshop as well as department store. And here comes our second business model company. So we made almost 400 dollars per person to 2,000 dollars for this training workshop. So it's beneficial for all of us. Kids can make more friends, communicating with diverse people, creating new ideas. And kids event hosts, they make more money by offering kids events. And parents, yeah, they can have more extra free time while their kids are having fun nearby with more friends. So that's what we do. Yeah, this is the last part. So we are looking for some partners who can offer space for our training workshop as well as kids event program for free, that we offer for free, as well as parents or kids group aged from 3 to 6. And also, I'm really seeking to find co-founders who are enthusiastic about design thinking as well as child learning and technology. So if you guys, anybody who are interested in our company or would like to join in this Bay Area, yeah, please come to see and after this event. And money, we are seeking like almost hundred thousand dollars, yeah, to settle the business here. Yeah, thank you. And any question? Um, so you said that it's team building exercises. So do we adapt the team building exercises to our own curriculum, or is the team building exercise standalone? Oh, yeah, that's a really good question. Actually, yeah, through the website, when we host kids' activity, you can host kids' activity when there is two or more kids that who book for this event. So we actually basically, like, you can offer kids' activity if there is only two or more kids who book for the event. Any other questions? Yes, yeah, not man. Uh, do, you, do you have uh, organizations that you've partnered with already other than the ones you've shown? Uh, sure. So actually we offer these training workshop sessions in uh, one of the like, largest universities in Korea called the Hanyang University and NC Department Store in Korea as well as we also partner with one of the like, biggest churches in Korea. So we actually partner with the Department Store, University, as well as church for now. Okay. Yeah, so another question? Yeah. Have you, have you thought of uh, like any value-added activities, like for, for instance, maybe like taking photos or videos to provide to the parents after the event occurs? I'm sorry, can you elaborate more? Yeah, like uh, more like giving more uh, deliverables like after the event happens. So maybe you would give uh, give the, the parents pictures of their kids or videos or more like more interactive experience. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a really great question. So to build like a trust with other like parents as well as kids to like host events. So after the kids event is done, parents who offer the event can get like photos or videos of their kids while they are playing so that we can kind of make sure the kids are kind of playing in a safe place, you know, with like a good people. Yeah, please. So, uh, two questions. One is how long have you been in operation in, in South Korea? And the second thing is in South Korea, how many facilitators have you trained so far? And how many students have attended these, these workshops? Uh -huh. Okay, that's a really great question. So first one, like when I started this business, so actually I built this business model when I studied at Parsons like two years ago. So I prototype and test this business model there like for about six months. And then I came back to Korea like in the summer of 2015. So I operate this is for about like one and a half year. Yeah. But I got like invested like from two venture capitals last September. And the second question. Yes. How many like children have attended? How many hosts have you trained? Yeah. And how many children have attended these sessions? Right. Yeah. Great question. So we actually hosted like this training workshop like for about three three times. So like almost seventy people.
people completed our training workshop sessions, and on, uh, among them, there are like only 40 people are actually actively hosting kids' events through our platform, as well as we have around 150 kids who attended our events. Yeah, the lady. Uh, I'm curious, how, to expand here, how do you plan on advertising or rather recruiting hosts? Because, you know, I'm curious, you said you, you do like this training and everything, but you, you know, how, what are your plans for like background checks and things like that? Because parents are very vigilant about that right. here and very untrusting of, of Okay. Yeah, that's a really good question. Especially if they're not there. Right, right, right. So, well, as I said, we have a networking event so that like the kids, parents, and kids activity hosts to meet in advance before booking. So that's the one like a kind of thing that we make people trust our service as well. But like to expand our service here in the Bay Area, like we are really looking for like people like who have extra times and extra you know experience who would like to host kids activity here. So maybe they could become kind of like a pre pre like preschool teachers or who would like to host events here like during the off time or like something is weekend or after work. So those kind of people that we are really seeking for right now. So if you guys don't really know like you know some of the kind of groups who might be really easier kids activity hosts at our platform, yeah just you know please let me know. Alright, that's all the time we have, but you'll be around.